We begin with that drone strike on terror targets in Yemen. Of course, the country believed to be home to Al Qaeda's most dangerous wing. And tonight, an official there confirming the drone striking a vehicle carrying suspected militants. The attack coming just days after this video right here surfaced showing a massive Al Qaeda meeting. Its leaders openly threatening the United States. Of course, the question now was this retaliation from America? ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, who has reported from Yemen right here on World News, reporting in on what we know so far. The Hellfire missile from the U.S. drone was launched from above Yemen's southern desert at a moving target. A pickup truck said to be carrying al-Qaeda militants who had been under surveillance for some time. The militants say officials had been training at a remote camp nearby and the drone operators were watching as the pickup pulled away. A Yemeni official says the intelligence on the militants and the truck was very, very pinpoint, with high confidence in the target. In an instant, the missile struck the truck, killing at least 10 militants, says the official. The strike follows the release of a tape from Yemen showing a large gathering of al-Qaeda, the largest of its kind in years, with the top al-Qaeda leader on the peninsula vowing on the tape to strike America. I think that you grab a win when you can grab a win. This was a high-profile win for the, uh, for the, uh, the counterterrorism side. While the Yemeni official said the strike was pinpoint, he also acknowledged that in what they called a terrible case of bad luck, a vehicle with construction workers ended up being at the same spot. Three were killed. Many Yemeni civilians I have talked to on my trips to Yemen say they oppose drone strikes. Once Americans come, Al-Qaeda will have support of people who are not support Al-Qaeda. So the Yemen. drone strikes yes. make people support Al-Qaeda even yes, more? Make, yes, support Al-Qaeda, yes, yes. The drone strikes have not been occurring nearly as often as in the past. And David, we don't know if it had anything to do with that tape that was released. In the meantime, Martha, what are your sources telling you about the people inside that vehicle? Do we know anything? Uh, well, there was said to be a radical preacher and some al-Qaeda recruiters, according to a Yemeni official, and probably some regular al-Qaeda foot soldiers, but not that top leader we saw in the videotape. All right, Martha Rannis tonight.